G'day guys, Scotty here from The Hook and The Cook and welcome back to our channel. Well, I've been researching again on Google Earth and I found another little spot to uh, go and explore. Uh, today I'm going to be working some lures, uh, mainly, no bait today. See if I can find some brim and some flathead. Um, a beautiful little spot. Definitely worth having a, a bit of a look around. So I'll head down and uh, see what I can find. Now guys, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification so you know when we put up our next video. And guys, leave a comment below and give us a heads up on what you'd like to see on our uh, channel over the next couple of years. Some stuff we can cover for you. Anyway, I'm gonna head down here, walk through the mangroves and see if I can find some fish today. I came into this spot a long time ago, had a walk around. So it's quite interesting. There's an old rowboat over there by the looks of it. Oh, it'll make for an interesting couple of hours, I think. It's a bit boggy down here. probably hear the traffic noise just behind me. I'm not far off the road actually. That might give you a heads up to where I'm fishing. So this is it here. So I'm going to start today with um, a little surface lure. Maybe if I'm lucky find a whiting or two and Brim will come up and hit this as well and same with flathead in the shallows. I'm using my uh, Anarchy Two to four kilo rod and my uh, little Van Ford reel, spooled with uh, 10 pound braid. So a nice little outfit. I did a review on this a couple of weeks ago, so if you want to check that out, guys, uh, fantastic little outfit if you're looking for a new rod. Anyway, I'm going to uh, flick a few lures around and see how we go. I've got a big whiting in front of me. He's got to be 400 mil long. It's the biggest whiting I've seen for ages. Just wonder if he'll take a liking to this little popper. So I just ran the popper right over his head. He didn't really even look at it. I reckon when summer heats up, this could be really good for whiting out here. Here he comes, he come back in again. Fish on. Looks like a tailor. Oh, oh he spat the lure. <laughs> oh, that was really good. Ah, oh, there's a little lure stuck in the mud. Oh well. So far, so good. Only been here a few minutes. And the little uh, surface pop has brought a result. Anyway, let's get it back out there and see if we can find another one. Okay, I've changed from the little popper now. I've gone to a small little squidgy wriggler, one of my old favourites, that's produced a lot of fish. I've got a big school of mullet in front of me and a few big brim milling around, so I'm just going to sneak into the bushes here, and hopefully without them seeing me, and get a cast just in over the back here into the little deep section where they're milling around. There's that big brim. So he's just over here. Just see if I can get him to take this little lure. There he is. Let's hop it down past him. See if I can get him to 
He's having a look. No, he turned away. He wasn't too sure about that. No, we'll push on a little bit further. Great place here to uh, to explore with lures. You can soft plastics, little hard bodies, poppers as I did before where I lost that tailor. Um, oh, there's a touch. Yep, there's a fish. Fish on. Oh, he's a good one too. Pull and drag. Oh, nice brim. Oh, get out of that weed. Oh, look at that. That's a solid brim. Hey, look at that. He's taken that plastic right down. That is a ripper of a brim. I'm very happy with that one. Okay, time to let our brim go. He's a bit unsure. There he goes. How good was that? Beautiful fish. What I really love about these little spots, uh, walking in, is the simple gear you need. Simple little backpack, and obviously I've got my polarized sunnies, which are a must do in this sort of fishing. A lot of the fish I was spotting today as I was walking around the lake. A simple tackle box. Now in there, you can see I've got some jig heads, little surface poppers, some little lures, just a little assortment, nice and simple. To, uh, to try different things. So really easy, little tackle box. Keep that in your bag. And the other thing is nice little light outfit, the Anarchy uh, with the, the Van Ford 2500, like I said before. Fantastic little outfit for doing this. Soft plastics, little surface poppers, or little hard body lures work really well. So I've just been wandering around the lake behind me here, having a bit of fun. Nailed a beautiful brim, which I'm really happy about. And dropped a, a good sized tailor right at my feet. I've got the other side of the lake to go now. So fingers crossed uh, around the other side I can find a few more fish. And uh, yeah, always worth exploring. It's good fun. So guys, pack really light. You don't need heaps of gear. Just a simple rod and a bit of tackle and you're in business. Well, that was a couple of enjoyable hours out here exploring this uh, lake. A couple of nice fish, which I'm really happy about. And plenty of bird life and activity out here, which is really nice. Except for the traffic noise over the back, which is a, a bit of a downer, but hey, we're in the middle of Sydney, so that's what you expect. 
Now guys, please subscribe to our channel because it helps our channel a lot and, uh, and share this video around. And we'll see you guys on the water next week somewhere. Cheers.